This woman was drunk driving when she crashed into another car. She was given an interesting punishment. Let's see if you can guess the strangest punishments ever given to guilty criminals. Wow, Chris! How was she punished? A. She had to drive backwards for six hours. B. She had to read the Bible and write a summary of it. C. She had to get drunk before riding a roller coaster. Yes. She was ordered by the judge to read the Old Testament book of Job and write a summary of it. From reading and writing to painting. Number two. This graffiti artist was found guilty of spray painting on a railroad car. But for his punishment, the judge gave him something he could use his talent for. What do you think was his unique punishment? He had to paint the courthouse railings with a toothbrush. He had to put body paint and dance in public. He had to paint his face on a large wall and write the sentence I am stupid. Oh dear. And speaking of deer, a man from Missouri pleaded guilty to illegal deer hunting. Apparently, a year-long sentence wasn't enough and so the judge added a little twist to it. Was it A. He had to wear a deer costume in jail. B. He had to nurse a baby deer while in prison. C. He had to watch the animated movie Bambi behind bars. Well, all the choices would have been fun. But the man was ordered to watch Bambi once a month for the whole duration of his sentence. And while we're on films, what do you think was the punishment for this next man caught stealing from an adult video store? He had to stand outside blindfolded holding a place card that said See no evil. He had to take a job as a seller of the store for six months. He had to watch Tom and Jerry for 24 hours and take a quiz after. I'm thankful that Judge Chicken Eddie gave me an opportunity instead of a jail time. Wow. Now that is a surprise and I really wonder how many did you get right so far because we're about to move to the final one. A man was freed from an 8 year prison sentence after crashing into a soldier and killing him. How do you think he was punished instead? A. He had to join the military. B. He had to serve as a driver of the victim's father for 10 years. C. He had to send a postcard to the victim's family every week for 15 years. The victim's father wanted him to never forget what he did to his son. So he demanded him to send them postcards every week for 15 years. That is a total of 780 postcards. Wow. These were all very interesting and surprising. So I wonder how many did you get right? And you know what will not be the punishment for anyone on the other side? Seeing you in the next... Wow, Chris!